Michelle Dockery, thank you so much for being on our program, At Home Edition. I really, really appreciate this. How are you doing, by the way? I'm good. I'm fine. Yeah, all things considered, good. I'm, I'm great. Thank you. Thanks for having uh, me. Uh, I heard that you have been learning or relearning piano while you've been quarantining? Yes, I have. I, I bought myself a lovely upright piano just before lockdown, so the timing was, was good. Um, so I've just been, you know, I have the time to do it now, so I've been learning a few more songs and, I mean, I'm no pro, but I... Are you, are you teaching yourself? Do you have a Zoom teacher or I, what are you doing? I teach myself, so I can read music, but I'm a little lazy. So I, I've been using those like YouTube videos where it shows you how to play the song. And, yeah, you know, they work. Things, so. Huh? It, those things work. It's oh yeah, they're great. Yeah, I mean you have to sort of pause them and slow them down. But um, yeah, I haven't yet been able to finish a full song yet. But you know that's that. But that's all I'm doing at the moment. You, just do playing. you come from a, a musical family? Um. I, I mean, I do. My sister played guitar when I was a teenager and she taught me how to play guitar. So I've also been doing a bit of that. Um, picked up the guitar again. Um, ah. And I am not, you know, by any means a brilliant guitarist, but um, I've been just playing all the old songs that I used to play when I was younger, like Oasis songs and... Um, oh yeah, you gotta play some Oasis, come on. Yeah, like yeah. Wonderwall and you know, oh. those, those songs. Hell yeah. man, it's fresh. Oh, I love yeah, it so much. love it. Um, Were you ever in a band or anything or any uh, ambition to be I, a <laughs> I I wasn't officially in a band, but there was a band in my school when I was 15 and they were like really grungy, sometimes a bit sort of metal. Um, and I would sometimes be their, you know, guest appearance <laughs> um, at pub gigs. And um, I would do songs like, uh, you know, the cramp, like, like Zombie, the Cranberries. Uh, you know, Dolores. Oh, yeah. Gosh. Oh, the best. And just, what you know, teenage, yeah, and teenage angst. Yeah, um, where Doc so, Martens and all that stuff. Oh my, I, I did all of that. Doc Martens, you know, dark eye makeup, the whole thing, long Alanis Morissette hair. Yeah, I did all of that. Uh, yeah, I want to talk about um, Defending Jacob, your show on, yes. uh, it's the biggest show on Apple TV Plus right now. Congrats on that. It's Thank a series you. with uh, you and, and Chris Evans, who we yes. just had on the show, who's yes. fantastic. Um, yeah. And it's based on the book, um, but it, it's set in Boston, and you guys filmed in Boston, correct? We did, yeah, we did. How did you? How did you love? How did you like Boston? I I loved it. I I loved Maybe Boston. Me too. Really, really loved it. Fell in love with the place. I mean, we we shot in the suburbs mainly, um, in uh, some of the smaller towns there. But at weekends, I got to go, of course, into the city, and um, I I got to go to a Red Sox game, which was amazing. It's the greatest thing, and. Yeah, I thought I'm not leaving Boston until <laughs> you know, I've got to see a, a Red Sox game while I'm here. And I managed to get tickets with um, some friends on the show, and uh, we had such a good time. I've I've never eaten so many hot dogs. And <laughs> yeah, no, they have great hot dogs. No, absolutely. But also, the you, you, it's rare to go to a baseball game uh, uh, and and smell grass. Yeah, and for me, you know, growing up watching American films and you know, baseball is just such a, you know, it just feels like such a, an incredible, you know, to actually be there, it just felt like I was in a movie. Um, I mean, half the time I didn't really know what was going on. You know, I kept saying to my friend, like, why are they standing around now? Why isn't anything happened? You know, I just, you know, it's there. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's shorter than a cricket game, though. <laughs> no, that's true. That's very true. <laughs> much shorter. <laughs> I love that town so much. Did you, did you pick up on the accent at all? I mean, I, I was glad that I didn't have to do the accent for the part because it's right? not an easy one. Um, when it's bad, it's, it's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I wasn't going to take that risk. Yeah, um, me neither. But I, I, loved, I love that accent. Um, it's just, it's such a cool accent. And there's definitely a bit of that accent that comes out in Chris, Chris Evans every now and then. Oh, yeah. Um, especially because we were working in his hometown. Um, it, there's definitely a little twang there, but it's a great accent. I'm just, uh, it was, it was less work for me though, not having to do, to do one for this part. Is it tricky to do an American accent uh, and not go back into your, your British accent? Sometimes if there is anyone on an American set, anyone in the crew who has a British accent, I just have to keep away from them. <laughs> they have to stay, 
they're banished from the, yeah. from the stay set. Away. <laughs> stay away, stay in the van until my scene yeah. is done and then yeah. come and play. Yeah, there was this guy, I was doing this other, other show in um, North Carolina and there was a British guy and uh, his accent was really, really strong, really sort of East London, which is, you know, where most of my family are from. So he was like, all right, morning, Michelle, how's it going? And I'd just be like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Just write it down, send me notes. Just yeah, don't exactly. say anything audible, yeah. please. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've only seen a little bit of Defending Jacob, but uh, man, it's emotional. You really rocked this one, man. Uh, uh, congrats Thanks. on that. Uh, is that tough for you as an actor? It, I mean, it must be for anyone, but I mean, knowing that you're gonna go into the scene and you're gonna be crying and- Yeah. It's, it's draining, you know. Yeah, I mean, when I when I read the scripts initially, I thought, oh, this is going to be a, a lot of tears for this part. So I have to sort of go into a bit of a zone when I'm doing those scenes and sort of keep, you know, keep in the zone. But the great thing about this show is that everyone had a, you know, in spite of the, the content, it being very intense and serious, everyone was very lighthearted and had a great oh, sense of humour. So, yeah, so like... Chris was really great at just, you know, we can sort of break, you know, break the atmosphere when, when necessary. Because I'm that sort of actor, I need to sort of, you know, do, you know, be, do the emotional part and then I have to kind of snap out of it. And um, yeah. it was, that was a, it was a good balance there. Um, yeah. we, we ask everyone who's come on our show if they have a charity or something they want to talk about or, uh, and you have a, a fundraiser, it's a GoFundMe. Um, Explain what this is. This is, it takes our village. Yeah, it takes our village. Um, it's a, a fundraiser um, that was uh, set up to support below the line workers in film and TV. Um, so the money is distributed through the Actors Fund and the Motion Picture and Television Fund. Um, and it was set up by a group of directors, producers, um, and writers um, in America. And as this is an American fundraiser, I thought I would mention this because it's such a great cause um, for, for all the um, workers out there who, of course, because everything is shut down, locked down, um, they've been impacted. Um, oh, so yeah. It's a great yeah. Cause. I, I mean, I miss everybody on our crew and our, our, they're like family, you know, but it's like, yeah. it's, it's, it's not just this show, it's the business, the yeah. whole thing. Exactly. It's tough. So. Yeah, and the expression, it takes a village. I mean, that's what we call it, doesn't it? It takes a village to create these shows that everybody is watching. So it's a, you know, it's a, it's a great cause to look after people. Um, Michelle Dockery, thank you so much for coming on the show. I cannot wait to see you in person. Yeah, and I want, I want to hear some piano next time I talk to you. Okay, yes. And maybe I'll, some I'll, I'll, Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll keep going. Yeah, <laughs> zombie right. on the piano. <laughs> Uh, bye, bye. Thank you so much again. Bye, Jimmy. Uh, uh -huh. on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.